Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Naila Serenity. Come sit with me today. We are back with our moon sign series. Um, our last video was Cancer, um, the Cancer moon where it's home. If you have not seen that video, you should go watch that. I will have that link down in the description box below. But right now we are here to talk about who, who? Leo moon. By the way, new hair, who this? New, I'm sorry, I can't hear you, I'm sorry. New hair, who this? I don't know who you are, like, wow. Um, I had to do that just in the spirit of Leo Moon. Um, so let's get into this. Number one, so the moon is home to the sign of Cancer, right? We talked about that, right? Now, what comes after Cancer is the sun, which is Leo. So you have Leo, who's home to the sun, in the placement of the moon. Number one, let's just say this off bat. Any place where you're going to see Leo, that placement is going to be on display because that's what Leo is about. Leo is about presentation. Ooh, lip gloss. Leo is about um, performance. Leo is about bringing attention to. So when you have your moon in Leo, your emotions and how you feel is on display at all times. You make it very known how you feel. <laughs> it's very obvious. Leo is very dramatic as it is. Leo is the sign of drama, right? Um, it's the sun, come on. Um, so when you have it in the moon, it's like, it's, it's like the brightest moon you could see. A Leo moon has really all the traits of a Leo sun um, except the more egocentric side of what a Leo son has is truly how they feel about themselves. It's not like they have to like prove it. You get what I'm saying? So like the <laughs> normal kind of narcissism and uh, confidence that a son Leo would have um, which is really like, oh, everybody see me, everybody look at me, I'm great, I know I'm great, but I love admirers, so I really want you guys to know that I'm great and just show me that I'm great. By the way, if you have not seen Leo versus Aquarius, which we'll be talking more about um, Leo sun signs and that shadow self, which is Aquarius, you should go watch that, I have that link down below. Um, but yeah, it's less of the, I want everybody else to know I'm great. It's more so like a no, I, I'm i great. Like they know that from the depths of their soul. And honestly, having a Leo moon is like low key a blessing because I feel like a lot of prophets come with Leo moons. Like these people are just really intuitive. Um, also because you have that uh, fifth day Bible energy, you know what I'm saying? Like on the fifth day, which is Leo's day, you know, God created man to basically, you know, delegate and be the ruler of the earth or whatever, however that goes. Um, so when you have that in your moon sign, your subconscious is literally the prophet. Your subconscious is the prophet. I'm tired, child. I need to sleep yesterday. I'm trying to get this together. One thing that I appreciate about the Leo moon is that they truly understand the importance of worshiping yourself. Um, or maybe worshiping is like a reach. Let's say admiring yourself. They understand the importance of self-care. Um, and they also understand the importance of their time and their energy and their worth. Leo moons know their worth and they work hard at making sure that they maintain their worth. Um, and it's not to prove to everybody else how much they, they're worth. It's really to prove to themselves. Now that's the thing with Leo moons. Sometimes um, a Leo moon doesn't necessarily have to be, that's why I said it's a separation with the ego because a Leo moon doesn't necessarily have to be concerned with um, other people admiring them, Leo moons have to make sure within themselves that they are always in a place where they can admire themselves, where they can look at what they do and be proud of it. Leo's a proud sign, it's the lion. So you, when you have that in the moon, that's what they need for themselves. They need to feel proud of themselves. They need to, to, to achieve enough whatever that achievement looks like to them they need to achieve enough so they can look back at themselves and be like damn you did that 
I'm fucking amazing. Like they need that for themselves. They need to be able to reassure themselves. Now, sometimes Leo moons can get so caught up in trying to gather all these things to make themselves worthy on the inside. Basically what I'm saying is Leo moons can sometimes get so caught up in what they can offer and what they can bring and, and what can be ad admirable traits that they have that they get lost in that sometimes they're too busy trying to make sure that they are on it that they are in the lead that they they are how they want to view themselves you get what i'm saying and sometimes because leo moons are so busy trying to prove to themselves that they are worth how much they feel they are worth um that it can really turn into like a narcissistic thing because it's one thing to have a leo sun and on the outside with your conscious mind being like yes i'm that bitch, you know what i'm saying but when you have it in the moon sign like on the inside inside <laughs> it's like no like seriously like i don't even like i'm like do you not know who i am i'm that bitch. i am who are we that bitch. i am it can be healthy to a certain extent but Leo, you but Leo Moon, you have to understand that because Leo is in your moon sign, your ego is directly connected to your emotion. So your lesson is to learn how to separate it a little. You know what I'm saying? Or 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 have discernment with when you're doing too much. You get what I'm saying? On the non-elevated side of a Leo moon, the worst thing you can do is get so tied, get your ego and your emotions so intertwined together that you do not know the difference, that you do not know who you are without ego. You get what I'm saying? Um, and that's such a challenge for Leo moons because it's Leo. Leo is the sun. Leo is about the I am. But how you can replace this... Uh, extra ego that is unnecessary in the moon sign is by studying yourself without others knowing leo moons are naturally creative leo moons like i said are naturally intuitive leo moons are natural manifestors because they know what they can do you know it's like you know the power that you have or you feel you know the power that you have so expand on that but don't you don't necessarily have to show it off you get what i'm saying you don't necessarily have to share it which can be a challenge for leo because since the sun is so magnetized in this area it can make you want to share 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 give 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 love 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 you know what i'm saying so it's good for you to keep some things personal um it's good for you to have little little things that you do just for yourself also with leo moons um you have to make sure that you aren't too concerned with other people viewing you as an authority and other people viewing you as someone that they can look up to because that's going to happen naturally with a leo moon like i said it's the difference you have to separate the ego from emotion because when you start intentionally thinking about like Oh, I don't want them to look at me like this. Oh, how am I supposed to do this? Oh, if I do this, people are going to think this about me. That's when it starts to get jacked up. Because now you're not knowing your worth. You're not understanding who you are, really. Which is what Leo Moon is, is understanding who you are. When you get caught up in that, you're totally disconnecting from it. Because when you don't focus on it, you just naturally are. It's a natural thing for you to, to be this bright light. It's a natural thing for you for people to bask in your glory and respect you and respect your authority and want to hear what you have to say. But it's another thing when you feel anxious or, or unsettled if you feel that other people aren't respecting your hierarchy. You get what I'm saying? Or not even respecting, but even recognizing your hierarchy because they do. But when you get to that point, you have to look within yourself and be like, okay, so why am I even noticing that people aren't recognizing it? Why is this even a thing? Why am I even concerned with that? You have to dig deeper, you know, which can sometimes be hard for Leo moons because Leo moons can sometimes with your emotions, you could sometimes be so scared of even seeing yourself as fragile and seeing yourself as broken or raw or 
anything less than great, you know, uh, you have really high expectations for yourself, which is amazing. But you have to understand that you are human just like everyone else. <laughs> and it's okay to be sense. It's okay to be raw. It's okay to not be okay. It's okay to not know the answer. It's okay to be off sometimes. You get what I'm saying? Also with the Leo moon, um, with, you know, the moon represents the mother. So with the Leo moon, you probably felt like your mother was really over the top, you know, um, really showy um, and very dramatic. <laughs> Now it's funny because even though with our moon sign it represents how our mother how our mother was or how we viewed our mother, we take that aspect of her and we run with it, right? So Leo moons, Jesus Lord have mercy. We love your creativeness. We love how how entertaining you are. We love your energy. But you <laughs> Leo moons because Leo is so much like i said leo is so obvious it's like a it's such an obvious sign it literally calls attention right <laughs> when you're going through something emotionally you have to be weary of being melodramatic because a lot of the times people around you can feel like you're crying wolf like uh like and now and you hate that you want people to pay attention to you when you're going through something because you're like oh my god look uh like my life is a mess someone just please give me reassurance you know what i'm saying um and that's cool but the people around you can cause sometimes get kind of like bored or just over you and the melodramatic fits you know what i'm saying so you can't expect people to always just be at your every beck and call um whenever you go through one of those um especially if you aren't taking into consideration what others have going on when you decide that not even when you decide but when your emotions start to run amok because it is very extra it is very dramatic and that's how your emotions run in general um and even though people may not always appreciate your your melodramatic nature and just your dramatic nature in general, they appreciate it when you empower the people. They appreciate it when you're being an artist. They appreciate it when you're passionate about something. You have that drive that won't quit and won't stop. It's like this drama that you have, this sexual energy that you have, this creative energy that you have, this prophetic energy that you have is in everything that you do because you know that everything that you do is worth something. And that's the blessing of having a Leo moon. The real secret to being a Leo moon is basically understanding your worth without having others understand it for you, without having others appreciate your worth for you, without needing the validation especially in like relationships and friendships and things like that um it shouldn't be something that is sought out um it shouldn't be something that is that is on the forefront of your brain like uh words of affirmation reassurance it shouldn't be a necessity it's great if you have that but it shouldn't be a necessity and sometimes with this moon because leo because the moon is about what you need you can get that kind of confused sometimes which can make people not want to be around you because they feel like you're full of yourself when in reality you're just missing that little piece within yourself you need to fill a void right um but that's really all i have to say about leo moons if you are a leo moon please comment down below or if you are a leo sun hey girl hey go watch leo versus aquarius that's talking all about your sun sign you and your shadow so girl um but yeah thank y'all for watching my name is naila serenity follow me on instagram at naila.serenity also on my astrology page on instagram astrologer of the south also follow me on twitter i'm starting to get more into twitter now i know i'm late i'm 20 i'm young but i'm not hip okay i'm not hip yet i'm not there yet um my twitter is also naila serenity so yeah thank you i love you girl bye